Hey guys, welcome to Ebodacious Loves, where we talk about what the things I love. And who's Ebodacious? That's just me, Ebony, being extra. So as you can see from the title, we have another huge blind buy fragrance haul. Okay guys, I think this is my last big one because I feel like this one got a little out of hand. I think I'm winding down too though. I think I'm getting to the space where now I'm beginning to know the things I like you know, as I'm going on this journey. If you want to go on this fragrance journey with me, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, what's up, y'all? Thank you so much for coming back. You are so appreciated. I'm so glad you are here with me. And let's dig in. And I'm sorry my chair is making a lot of noise. Let me, like, get situated. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start off, guys. You know, I like to grab a few celebrity scents, and we have two celebrity scents today. I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine. And one of them is like three things. I got like 10 things here. I'm going to try not to make this super long. Maybe I should have made this alive. I don't know. But okay, here we go. The first one we're going to open is Live by Jennifer Lopez. Now, I got this on sale down from $16.99 to $6.99 at Burlington's. Wait a minute. Liv got pineapple in it, too? That Jay Lux got pineapple in it, too. So, I'm like, um, she must like pineapple. <laughs> Liv has in it pineapple, Sicilian lemon, Italian orange, red currant blossom, peony, violet, Caramel, sandalwood, tonka bean, and vanilla. I'm looking at my computer screen, guys. This is a small, small bottle, but more than enough for me. This bottle, this was another one where I wasn't sure how I thought about the bottle. I'm a bottle snob, what can I say? <laughs> All right, but it's kind of cute, but it also reminds me of that genie, too. Genie in the bottle, baby. Like Christina Aguilera should have had something like this. I'm smelling, I'm getting the powdery vibe, powdery fresh vibe. Yeah. This isn't doing anything for me. You know, guys, I actually feel like, I don't know, this might be my last gen. Well, I do want to get Jayla Miami, which I had a long time ago, and I do want to bring that back for the summer. But other than that, I don't think I'm getting anything else from Jennifer Lopez. I feel like this is okay. I feel like it's very everyday. Like, I feel like I almost can smell, like, if I had the Paris Hilton little blush and I had this other. I just feel like there's nothing particularly special about this one. It just smells good. It smells good. But not special. That's Live by J-Lo. I like that it's kind of green, the green juice in it. I like that. Okay, my next scent that we're going to have is my very first scent from Elizabeth and James. Features one of my most favorite notes, Rose. So this is Elizabeth James Nirvana Rose. I got this at TJ Maxx for $16.99. And like I just said, Rose has become like my second favorite note. I'm obsessed with Rose now. I love Pear and now I love Rose. Now, this one has like a fresh spicy aroma to it. It actually only has like, at least on Fragantica, they're only showing like three notes, May Rose, Vevator, and Geranium. So let's see what this is about. So this is the, what size is this? This must be a 50. Yeah, it's a one one ounce actually. This is a one ounce bottle. That's why it was so inexpensive. But 
it's more than enough. Mm, let's see what this smells like. I mean, I do tend to like really simple, simple notes, so I'm excited about this. Jay Liv is actually doing a little, I can still smell it, and it's actually feeling better, smelling better. I hope I'm not talking too low. I do have a soft voice, and I tend to sometimes not realize how low I'm talking. Mm. Mm, I like this. This has like a, you can smell the rose, but you smell, I smell pepper, but they didn't say anything about pepper. I clearly smell pepper in this. And then, and then the, um, when they describe the the main accords, they say spicy, woody, earthy, rose. So I'm like, how did those three ingredients, like I smell pepper. <laughs> I like it. This is different. Mm, I like this note. I smell like smoke. Wait a minute, do I smell smoke? Mm. I think I smell like smoke a little bit. Mm. This is nice, I like this, this is different. This does not smell like a celebrity scent. These are the kind of celebrity scents I like, you know? Not that there's anything wrong with sweet, but I only need so many of those. This is nice. I like this a lot. This is what it looks like on the side. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Elizabeth and James. That makes me want more. And yeah, I'm going to have to see how they perform. But I really like how this smells. This is nice. I like this bottle too. And this is a celebrity scent. I said Elizabeth and James. You might not know. This is by Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. I think, though, they discontinued them. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I think they are. I love it. Okay, what should I do next? That smells sticking with me. Something about pepperiness. They always, like, play a little heavy on me, which is nice. Okay, so now I got a couple of perfumes from Elizabeth Arden that I have been wanting to try. Now, the one, the only Elizabeth Arden perfume I had ever owned myself when I was younger was Sunflowers. And I had that when I was young. But I haven't had anything since then. I mean, I loved Sunflowers back in the day. I keep thinking of getting it just again for that nostalgia that I had, that nostalgia that I had it before. So... I was in this store we have called Gabe's. It's like a discount store. And they normally, I normally, they normally have like off-brand perfumes. But I guess it was kind of like, I don't know. They had this shipment in, I guess. And so they had some of the these um, Elizabeth Arden. But they also had all the Revlon Charlies. And I had the Charlies, but I was like, does anybody care what Charlie, what these Charlies smell like? I never had Charlie back in the day. But they had, I don't know, they had got a shipment. They had every one. They had white, blue, silver, and um, gold. So if you guys would like for me to go in and put my nose on those, let me know and I'll go get them because they were like $6 a thing. But I'm also like, just don't want a whole bunch of perfume that I'm not going to wear. I want perfumes that I'm going to wear, you know. And I'm starting to notice that there are certain ones I pick up more than others and that I gravitate to and a lot of my designer fragrances are ones that I gravitate to um, a little bit more than some of my celebrity scents now my Sarah Jessica Parker wear those a lot you know but I'm starting to know like what I like and so I don't want a bunch of things I don't like you know I just don't want to be wasteful like that all right so now that I rambled I like I said I got a few items I got two I um, Elizabeth Arden I green tea because I've been wanting to try the green tea but I didn't want just green tea and so at this place Gabe's they had green tea cherry blossom and they had green tea magnolia and I don't tend to buy OD twi toilet sprays and I know I shouldn't be like that because they could be good but the fact that already most perfumes don't last very long on my skin, 
I don't usually, like, I just usually don't get them. So these were $11.99 at this, at this store, Gabe's. They had, they didn't have, um, they did have a couple sunflowers, like dream petals, I think, and something else, but I just, I don't know. I was reading the reviews and I just didn't feel like um, I needed them. But I wanted to give these a smell. I'm thinking these would be nice for the summertime. And the cherry blossom might be heavy, I don't know. So this is what mimosas look like. And I like mimosas, so. Let's see what this smells like. Now I know the green tea line is really popular from Elizabeth Arden. Ooh. You know it's on the back of the box by chance? No. Mm. Well, I smell like citrus. I mean, I'm a, I smell orange juice, literally. Yeah, so this has, has green tea, citruses. It does what I smell right from the beginning. Mimosa. Is mimosa a flower? I thought that was a drink. <laughs> Heliotrope and Embret Mask Mallow. Musk Mallow. Yeah, this just smells to me like, it does smell to me like a mimosa. It smells like, uh, yeah. Okay, and then I also got green tea cherry blossom. That's what this one looks like. That's the, that's the mimosa. This kind of, I don't know. This dries down a little. Mm. I feel like I heard smell that bug spray note again. All right. Maybe that's, did I say some lime rocks? Mm. Let me spray this a little bit more. I might like this one. Now this one, I can smell the green tea. So um, cherry blossom has green tea, lemon, bergamot, pettigrain, tangerine, and sweet almond. I smell that bergamot, tangerine. This is nice. Then the middle notes of tea, cherry blossom, peony, apricot, and plum. And then the base notes of birch, musk, white lily, oak moss, and heliotrope. Maybe heliotrope is the bug spray note. Let's just smell it again. <laughs> like, I like how that smells. But there is this, like, little note in there. That makes me think a little bit of the bug spray. But I do think this one's a little bit more complex. I really like it. In the beginning, but I feel like the base of this starts to smell the two of these smell a little bit the same on the base. Um, I think it's a little cracked. That might be why that was at the store. This one's not. But this one, the cap, it's cracked. It's kind of like a big lots with clothing sometimes. Gabe's, I don't know if you have those. If you have a Gabe's in your community, let me know. All right, and then I did pick up another Elizabeth Arden. Now, this one I actually had on my list of things. I mean, these two, the two I got, I had green tea on my list. And I just grabbed those two. They look like they would smell good. But this scent I had on my list because I've heard different people talk about it. I'm going to find the person who, this video I saw where she talked about this. And it is Elizabeth Arden, Fifth Avenue, NYC. Eau de Parfum. I got this at Macy's Backstage for $14.99. Hey guys, it occurred to me that I was wrong. It was supposed to be Elizabeth Arden, Fifth Avenue Royale was the scent I was looking for, which probably explains my reaction. Oh. Let me 
Yeah, this is what it looks like. I like the bottle alone. It looks nice. It looks elegant. Now, the funny thing, did I say, the funny thing about Elizabeth Arden, when I worked at Kaufman's, Elizabeth Arden, Arden Beauty Salon was like a big deal. It was up on the 11th floor, which was the floor with like the couture stuff that you really didn't go to unless you really could be up there. And I think I ran up going up there one time for something. It was just like, wow. It was like, it's like a little, it was like this little, you know, sacks almost like place inside Kaufman's. And the Elizabeth Arden was up there. So it's just interesting to me that like her perfumes are so kind of inexpensive, but it's just so different how things can change over time, right? And yeah, they were kind of a big deal back in the day. I still think you find sometimes their um, skincare stuff is still pretty expensive. I kind of like this. I kind of like it. But it's kind of making me. It has top notes of peach, apple, bergamot, middle notes of peony, black currant, jasmine, and plum blossom, and base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, musk, sandalwood, and amber. It's powdery. I feel like this scent's really powdery. There's something about this scent that's making me hot. <laughs> like. I don't know. I'm not getting the fruitiness. Get the floral. I don't think this is for me. I mean, it's different. It's different from anything that I have. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe a little bit like Cashmere Mist, a little bit. A lot in the Fifth Avenue line. It's a popular line. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, a little a couple people said Cashmere Mist. I feel like a little bit like Cashmere Mist. Some people said it sounds like Golden Delicious from... I'm barely smelling the apple note. It's like a, I don't know, it's different. Like at first I was a little bit turned off, but as it's sitting there, it's smelling better. It's smelling better. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to wear this. The jury's out. I feel like I can't necessarily say it's not good. But I'm not ready to say it's good. <laughs> so that's Elizabeth Arden, Fifth Avenue, NYC. Okay, so this next fragrance, I think I do have 10 fragrances, guys. So this was a fragrance I've mentioned before that I like to get some older fragrances in my collection. And this one was peaking my interest just because I kept seeing it like it was on sale for the holidays and like Macy's really put, called it out and then like I don't know I read their reviews of it and then I got nervous but here's a tip you know you know how I like to save money so I I get this you go if you go to CVS and you spend you get coupons well it never occurred to me in fact I don't know guys that 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 I'm sorry, I feel itchy. I wonder if I'm allergic to something or not. I'm feeling itchy after that. <laughs> so you get a coupon, you get coupons from CVS. I never thought for it. I got a 40% off coupon and someone said, why don't you try to see if you can use that on perfumes? So you can. I don't know. I never thought of that. You can use all your coupons on anything. And so I go to the coupon, the perfume section that's all blocked off at the CVS in my area. And they literally had three perfumes. Like, I don't know if they're getting rid of them internally. That store is a little suspect. It is in an area that kind of has 
some probably some theft or whatever but it, they're locked behind a thing and they literally had just this perfume white shoulders and some other old perfume a man that two men perfumes but they had this perfume that i had set up and wanting to get and so the 40% was going to take it down because it wasn't really expensive. But then they had me sign up for this care thing where it was like, you pay $5, but you get $10 credit on your card. And I had these two, two, $2 off coupons as well. So I wound up getting this bottle of perfume for $11. And it is Le, La Air du do tomps from nina richie now this is an old scent i need to find out let me see where this came from how old this is now i hope this don't mess me up for nina richie because i want more from her there's a, this is an old i'm not gonna let this mess it up i'm gonna get more from her because there's a few other perfumes from her that are on my list but this was wow wow is nina richie dead <laughs> She must be. Because <laughs> this scent. I'm sorry. It's not funny. But I didn't realize like how old this was. This launched in 1948. The nose behind it, according to Fragantica, is Francis Fabron. There's a lot of notes in this. Okay, guys. I'm nervous. This is vintage. 1948? This is a vintage scent. So, I'm excited, but yeah, this timeless fragrance, so timeless, bought by Nina Richie that brought a fame, brought a fame, brought fame to the, Nina, to the Richie house, became and it remains until today one of the greatest fragrance creations. Wow. That's a lot. It says it says it was created due to the great passion of Richie's son Robert Robert for fragrance and the art of master perfumer Francis Fabron. This is all from Fragrantica. This is nice. It said it was launched after World War II in 1948, and the dove at the top is a symbol of peace. Nice. Okay, I like that. So I felt there was a need, I had a need to get this. And that's kind of what the bottle was, what attracted me to it. I felt like it was something I wanted to have just because of the bottle. This is it. Now, where's the front of the dove? This is the front of the dove. I mean, that is pretty. And that's what made me, kept making me look at that. Like, I want that, I want that, I want that. There's two doves, actually. Not one dove, there's two doves. That's beautiful. And the nurse says... I mean, what is the, I mean, there's a lot of notes in here, guys. A lot of notes. So the top notes for Nina Ritchie, La Air du Tons. This kind of is giving me that cabotine, that cabotine, the grace kind of vibe, right? I think they're made the same time. So Carnation, aldehyde, rose, neroli, Brazilian rosewood, peach, and bergamot. Carnation, in the middle notes, carnation again, cloves, gardenia, jasmine, yang yang, ylang ylang, rose, violet, orange root, rosemary, orchard, orchid, orchid. And base notes of spices, iris, oakmont, oak moss, sandalwood, musk, benzoin, amber, veveter, and cedar. Yeah, when I see a lot of notes like that, I get nervous, y'all. They used to put a lot of notes in these perfumes back in the day. For real. Let's see what this smells like. Little Ed the Tonks. Yeah, I'm going to see what Nina Richie look like. We'll put a picture of Nina Richie up in here. Hmm. See, this is... For me... This does to me smell like Cabotine de Grasse, but without that piss smell that the Cabotine have, you know, without that pee smell. It's just a pee. 
There's a lot of flankers to this. This isn't bad at all. It's, it's definitely vintage. It's very powdery. It has that powdery scent to it. I think that's, I can smell the al aldehyde. I definitely smell the aldehyde. It's very, you can smell it. Earthy, fresh. I feel like for an older scent, this isn't bad. Like if I think about like even this scent or like that cashmere mess and stuff, I feel like they would they would have been like babies out of this, like generational development. Like this would have been an early one and things would have developed differently. You know, this would have been one that kind of sparked some development and how things changed and things. Like, I feel like this is, I feel like this is a nice classic, I do. I don't think necessarily believe I'll wear it much. <laughs> I don't see me probably wearing it, but I'm happy to have it. I think it's beautiful. And the collector in me is glad I, is glad I got it. The collector in me is glad that I have it. I like this. I do. That is with Air Dumb Toms. I mean, I, people are saying how bad. I, I don't think it's bad. I just think it's older. It's just an older style perfume. But, yeah. All right. We have... No, we have three more. <laughs> We have three more. So another thing I picked up at Macy's Backstage was this Laundry by Shelly Seagal, Los Angeles, Fragrance Layering Collection. Now they say here, 70, compared to $75, and it was down for $9. But on here, they I did see they were $24.99 regular. So I don't know where this compared to $75 come from sticker. But I got them for $9. And I had been seeing these on the, um, I did see these on HSN, this brand, these bottles. And I thought the bottles were so cute. So I thought it was worth giving them a try. I don't think I'm gonna look up all three of these bottles. I don't know if there's anything on here that will tell me about them. I wish sometimes they put stuff on the packet. Oh, they did. Okay, so this one is Metro Pop. I just couldn't see it. Metro Pop, according to this box, I'm reading the box. It says, bright lights, big city, it's your time to shine, wearing a sophisticated blend of rose and warm amber. Okay. These are cute. Cute little bottles. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> so this smells good, but I think this is what people mean when they say something screechy. <laughs> this feels screechy to me. Like this feels like the rose bush. I guess that's the amber, but it smells like I fell in the rose bush. Hmm. Yeah. Well, these are for layering, so maybe I'll layer that with something. Okay, so this next one, the yellow one, is Downtown Kiss. I could see that one. Downtown Kiss is a fall fall head over heels with a dazzling blend of romantic florals. Hope you guys are all doing well. We'll let this dry down a little bit. This smells like florals. This is good.
Hmm. This, this is exactly what it is. Florals. It smells nice. I like it. I like that one. Maybe I'll wear that like in the spring. Springtime. And then the last one is Urban Ice. Things are heating up. Keep your cool with this fresh aquatic and citrus fusion. And then you can put these together. The way they're marketing this is like you... Oh, I did not mean to spray that much. I put it all over my hand. Explore your signature style with endless combinations of these beautiful scents, specifically designed to blend together or to shine on their own. Mm -hmm. Let me let this dry down because right now. So what I'll say about these is I think they smell okay. I think they smell good, but I think they're screechy. <laughs> yeah. And this one has that like that bug spray thing that happens with me. The other two did not have that smell to me, but this one, Urban Ice, does. But I kind of think if I mix the Urban Ice with the Rose, and I'm saying they're both screechy, but if I mix them together, I feel like it might work. Or maybe if I mix the floral with this one together. Like, these aren't bad. I wouldn't say they're bad. Um, the notes alone, are, to me, they're alone. They're kind of... The only one I think I would wear alone would be this one. These other ones need to be mixed with something. But, I mean, you can mix them with other things, too. Yeah. Okay. And we have two more, guys. Two more. I'm excited because one of them is the recommendation from you guys. <laughs> All right, so the last two are designer scents. I mean, I technically, Nina was a designer scent too. Um, they are this last first one. Now, this is my first official bottle of a Juicy Couture fragrance. And the one that I got was Viva La Juicy Glace. I got this one because those of you who know me know what's my favorite note, pear. And in fact, I used to always wear, back in the day, as I've told you, pear glace, glace from Victoria's Secret was my signature scent. So when I saw that they had this at Marshall's and I heard um, Rhonda Larice give this actually a five in her ranking, I thought, Pair, my stuff, 40, it was down, it's down sale for $40 at Marshall's. I'm going to get this. And, yes, yeah, so this is my, and I've really been wanting a Juicy Couture um, fragrance because I love their packaging. And there's more. I have a decant of Juicy Couture Gold that I got from Scentbird. And actually, I wore that today. And. Yeah, it's faded. It's faded off me, and I even touched myself up in the middle of the day. But um, I do like mixing that one with other fragrances. But here we go, guys. My first DC bottle. They're so cute. This is it. This is Pear Glace. Um, oh, I don't know. I've been really wanting the Juicies. They're on my list. I, I pretty much have all of them on my list, except for a couple of that. And I know people talk about it and don't really like rock with, with Juicy, but I don't care. I want them. <laughs> I think they're beautiful. And I mean, I've heard good reviews. Okay, so this doesn't stay on. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. You have to actually deal with this every time. That's annoying a little bit. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna come off like that. All right, here we go. This is Pear Glass, Glace, 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 Glace. I don't know how they pronounce it. Because there's an accent mark and that usually means an A. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, mother. <laughs> wait a minute. Guys, if my sprayer don't work, my sprayer's not working. 
and you just gotta give us some time. Oh my goodness, guys, no. My sprayer's not working. This isn't coming off. to take it back yeah I can't get anything out hmm that's sad I'm sad guys I really am sad I think I have to take it back Just, but, but they don't take that perfume like am I gonna be stuck with this Cause they're funny about pranking back perfumes, but this doesn't work. I mean, I hope I can't exchange it. That's so strange. And this isn't coming off, so I can't even like, it's leaking everywhere, but it's not spraying. Wait. Oh. Well, maybe it's yeah, it's not spraying. It's a dud, guys. It's a dud. I can't get it to work. Yeah, it's not working. It's just getting everywhere. So that was Viva La Juicy Pick Lace. I got that from Marshalls. I'm going to have to see if I can take it back. All right, and the last scent that I got was a recommendation from one of uh, my subscribers. You know who you are, because you'll know, because you're the one who told me. It is My Burberry Blush. Now, I got this from Fragrantica. I got a tester um, of it, limited edition. So I wonder, it's limited edition tester. I didn't even know that when I ordered the tester. And I got it for a good buy. I think I wound up paying about $55 for it. Um, I'm trying to see what's in here. I got another exceptional, another one of these exceptionals. I keep giving us those from fragrance.net. All right. I've been really excited about this. And it has a lid. So what I've been learning, I think, and I don't know if this is accurate, but to me, it seems like if the picture on fra fragrance.net has a lid and the tester, you're going to get a lid. If the tester does not have a lid in the picture, then you're not going to get a lid. That's what I believe. I could be wrong because they do say they might not have them, but that's what I've, that's what has happened to me with the three testers that I've bought, that I've purchased. And this is what it looks like. It looks so cute. It's a cute bottle love this size. I'm so glad I got this big size because, yeah, I should tell you guys, like, the difference between the tester size and getting this non-tester was, was a bit much. So I was like, I'm getting the tester. Sprays perfectly. So disappointed. That's the first time I ever had a problem with a bottle. That I've ever that I've ever, ever gotten. Oh, this is nice. Okay, I can smell it already. Oh, pomegranate and lemon are the top notes. Then the middle note is apple, rose petals, and geranium. Yeah, and I can smell the apples coming in, the rose petals. Base is wisteria and jasmine. This is pretty. Mm. Burberry coming for everybody's neck. You know how Burberry is like my favorite house right in through here. Yes. Yes. I love it. Okay, guys. There's, I don't know what else to say. It's just. It's beautiful. I can't wait to put this on for spring. This is going to be perfect 
I'll be able to start wearing this next month. I'm not going to wear it now, but I can't wait to wear this in the springtime. Mmm. It's it is developing as I'm sitting here. The wisteria. That's a nice new scent for me. Yes. Yeah, I like it. So this haul was an interesting haul. Um, I don't feel like I got a lot of bangers here. I mean, hands down, this my berry berry my Burberry blush is the best. And it's actually really good. So thank you so much to the subscriber who, who recommended this. Great choice. Perfect. Just like what I would like. I love it. This is hands down like the standout of today. I'm so sad about my Viva La Juicy Glaze. I hope I can get at least a credit or something for it. Yeah, that's so sad. So I didn't get to smell that. So next on my list would be my Nirvana Rose was hands down the next best scent that we have here. I do like this scent a lot. So these two are definite like loves of what I've gotten today. A like of what I've gotten today. Um, I do like Leanne on Don Tom's. I like it. I like it for what it is. I like it for, I mean, it's 1948. I like it for what it is. I like it. Um, I don't, like I said, I'm not going to be wearing it. I'm not going to wear it. It's, it's definitely vintage. It's, you can smell the aldehydes. It's definitely vintage, but it's done vintage well. It's vintage well. And um, yeah, who knows? Maybe that Lier Don Tom's. I also do like Liv as I smelled it after I took it away. I like Liv. It's a like. I like Liv. And I think I like NYC. I mean, actually, I like the rest of them. But I'm going to say I like NYC. Then I would say Green Tea Mimosa. And then, what was the one I liked? The Downtown Kiss from this laundry. Um, the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. These three are okay. Like I know like is okay. But these are like a little less than like, but they're not like trash. They're not trash. I will wear I will wear them. Yeah, I'll, I will wear these for sure. These will be perfect for like, like these are good for the gym. I do plan on going back to the gym, y'all. I gotta get there. I get wanna get in the gym. And then Yeah, that's it. And these, I'm gonna give this mixing some tries. I'm gonna give it a try see what I can come up with with these so that's my haul I mean this is where I'm saying where I need to really think about I think I'm gonna start making less large part like less cheapy purchases and doing some more targeted like this is on my perfume list because now I'm at the point where I'm on my list like I'm not like these were on my list I wanted to try these I wanted to try this green tree line maybe I should have tried just a green tree but I wanted to try something. I saw these and I grabbed them. And this was on this this was on my list. It's actually in my phone on my list. This was on my list. Like these were on my list. The only ones that were like outside of it were these. But these I, I just saw them. I thought they were cute. These were not on my list. And I mean, Liv was the Liv was there. Liv has been on, has been off, has been on, has been off. But I do think I want to do more like a targeted pieces like this like I want to get the Burberry black my Burberry black next yeah for sure all right guys thank you so much for joining me today I know this went really long I had a lot here um let me know what you think about any of these do you sometimes get like a little bug spray smell on the dry down with some of these 
Let me know. Again, thank you so much for this recommendation. Bomb. I can't, I'm so glad this is in my collection. Like, look at this bottle. Like, this is, mmm, love it. <laughs> All right, well, I hope everybody's doing well. If you're not doing well, please know things will get better. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Bye.